Hi, hello. So, until now we talked about um, custom actions, custom view components, custom services, so pretty much everything covering from the UI to the backend. And we also saw to import third-party libraries on the UI. So in our case it was RZ slider uh, in the star rating view component. So let's see how we can do that on Java side, on the backend side. So in my case here, you can see I have an application that basically a watch list. So it's looking in to items on Amazon, and when the item is available, it sent me a text message. So right now I'm using Twilio as a provider. You could use whatever you want. Because um, Twilio just provides a SDK, uh, Java SDK. Uh, I wanted to use. So what I did is that I created um, a custom service I could use in the process. Uh, so here I have a process, should be in my notification. And here you can see as I'm sending a text message, so which is a custom service, and I'm sending my phone number and a message. So on Java side, I created a service text message which implements the BMC service object interface and well I created an action send text message that you can find here with two parameters send to text message and I'm calling this method send message there I'm calling some Twilio parameters like Twilio init and then the message in itself I'm sending the message to the creator so that means I'm using their SDK, Twilio's SDK, but I need to tell, of course, the project to use their SDK, but more importantly, I need to tell what, during the bundle phase that I want to bundle their SDK, so it's bundled with your application, so it can be used also on the backend side, on the server, once your application is deployed. So in order to do that, you have to declare your dependency inside the POM file from your bundle folder. Oops. So as a dependency. So for example here dependencies I'm using the SDK, uh, Twilio, the version. So this you can just look at the website. I just copy paste it. The only difference is I had to declare two extra dependencies for Twilio, HTTP components and collection. And once you declare those dependency, uh, well, you're fine. So automatically during the build phase, we are going to, when we are going to build your com your application or library, we are going to take the jar file from Twilio and HTTP component collection, and we are going to bundle it inside your application. So those ones, your those dependency will be available for the server to be used to send text messages. So that's pretty much all how you use third party libraries on the backend side, so it's pretty easy.